Hey folks. Yeah, here I have some silver nitrate solution. And here I have a little bit of silver nitrate, which I added a little bit of hydrochloric to, and you can see in the bottom there, we got a whole bunch of chlorides now, silver chloride. And so once that settles here for a few more minutes, I'm gonna pour that solution off and then uh, wash her a few times. Once we get her clean, we're gonna convert that dude uh, to an oxide with some lye and then uh, to uh, silver metal with some sugar. That's what I'm doing, baby, Piece big. Yeah, poured that dude off one time already. It's got a little bit clicker, clicker, a little bit clearer solution sitting on it now. Anyway, I'm gonna dump that off here too. See if I can do it without getting soaked in the rain situation here we got going. Alright, looking good. Mm -hmm, looking cleaner. Well, folks, we got a nice boil going on after uh, silver chloride. Right? Chunk it up real nice there, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I like to add a little bit of extra water before I go putting any. Uh, Plastic uh, soda in there. <laughs> Lie. Sodium hydroxide. A little bit more, just a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this here. We can watch the reaction together. Whoop, there we go, a lot. That should do it. How black it turns immediately. It's oxidizing the heck out of that there uh, silver chloride. Yeah, it's cooking it. She goes that quick. We got about got her there. That's gonna be just enough. She looks pretty black to me. <laughs> Okay, let's try some sugar. I know you're supposed to stir it and all that while you're doing it, but I'd rather do a little bit of uh, experimentation on this little bit. I'm gonna put a little power right there. I don't think that's plenty to do the whole conversion. Just wanna watch it here for a second though. See what goes down. I'll have my face over it because it pops or something. All right, stick your face right over that thing. I don't think so. We're not going to do that part. I am going to pull it off here. There's a little whirl out here, see if we can watch it switch to silver metal. Oh, look at that. That's a big clump in the middle there, right? You can see it changed already, right? See that silver is looking right? Give it a little better spin than that. Once I decided to uh, convert all the silver chlorides, so I'm going to add a little bit of hydrochloric to the silver nitrate and watch it'll uh, immediately convert it. I'll just go real super slow. All right. Now, if I stir that up, of course, it's all gonna go like crazy. And then it'll, uh, that close chlorides will start falling out of that solution like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going for it now. We're gonna give it heck. Got a lot of hydrochloric still sitting on top, right? Like on a, a fluff of uh, the chlorides. A flotation device of chlorides. <laughs> I 
are getting out of that start to get stirred up. Be mighty full, so I can't go crazy. Oh, look at that. Looking good down there. Okay. It's boiling again, so I'll do starting to boil again. I'll come and pour this food off here too a bit. It's uh, it's maybe full, so I can get it out over here. These guys a bit of a wash. Got one last clean boil here, guys. Yeah, it's just water with a little bit of copper in it. How fast it settles now, though, right? Wink. It's like almost immediately, right? Cleaned up chlorizer. Just about perfect. They're not exactly perfectly clean, but they're pretty close. You see a slight, slight tinge to that water, right? Of course, it's got some, uh, you know, silver chloride suspended in it too. Makes it cloudy looking. But as far as a blueness color, maybe just a tiny bit. Hard to tell this way, maybe a tiny bit compared right to the whiteness of the uh, chloride, you know. You can see it's got a little blue tinge still. But anyway, I'll let that sit like that. Hey folks, here's our silver. This guy here is metal. So that's some silver metal we can melt up. But before I do that, I'm going to combine it with this stuff here, which this is just all uh, chlorides. Got a smidge of water sitting on there. Oh, a tiny bit of color left in that water. I washed it about three or four more times too, so let's try to ooch off a little of that. Oh, yeah, you see the white chlorides underneath that uh, material that's been exposed to the sun, which is already oxidizing. And that's right, a little bit of sunlight as she starts going. But anyway, yeah, we got to add uh, lye to that to convert that dude all the way to oxides and then sugar and uh i'm gonna leave it's got a little water in there that might be enough enough maybe let's give it a shot yes yeah, so with with yesterday i'm gonna just put it a little bit here and let it sit we can eyeball the reaction here right about should add it real slow and stir it right so <laughs> if you do this yeah do it right yeah, stir it or somebody adds it or something for you put your camera on a stand or something but uh yeah i'm experimenting so if i'm doing an experiment i like to experiment a little bit you know just a little bit got you guys looking down on you i'm not really looking in there that well that should be producing some heat let's get a let's get a uh dang it here let's see what kind of heat we're producing 56, 56 on the pavement. Who do that? Yeah, some of the places where it's touched that material has yeah, jumped right up there. Yeah, it's a thermal reaction, so you have to be careful with that because it'll burn the heck out of you if you get it on your hands. Yeah, or in your eyes, worse yet, you're toast. Okay, 
it will fry right through like nothing. Yeah, yeah it's drain cleaner. You don't want to drain clean your eyeballs. <laughs> you drain clean them only once. That's all. One time. Yep. Oh, she's converting away. Let's see what kind of heat we got now that I mixed it up here, okay? This is cool out here. It's 50, you saw that, right? 55 or something, 54. Oh yeah, almost 140 now. Yeah. She's going, baby. She's burning up, man. Like a fever. I got a fever, baby, for some cow, though. For a little more cow, though. Yeah, I'm going to pull more in her just to make sure. I smell that. I'll tell you what, she's uh, converting away. Getting a little more temperature here. Oh yeah, it's cooling off already. Look at that. Woohoo, okay. Now I got regular old uh, table sugar there. Stuff you put on cereal if you eat cereal and sugar. I don't, but people do. I'm you know, just gonna put a pile in there again like I did yesterday. Because I want to see the reaction a little bit. I don't want to foam, foam over or anything, but yeah. Oh, you can see kind of gray around the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's turning gray around the sugar. So it's converting some of that to uh, silver metal already. Right. Give this, actually, let's do a little heat test real quick. Heat. Maybe she's cooled off there, but that would be a hot spot here somewhere. That's about it so far, yeah. About 120 something or other. Yeah, not too bad. All right, let's stir this dude up a smidge. I'll let you guys look right down. I'm off axis here a bit. Yeah, it's a much milder reaction when you have a little water in it. Oh, there it goes, see? It takes off sometimes, right? See, getting hot now, right? <laughs> That's why you gotta be careful. I wanted to show that reaction, but I didn't want to like flame it over, which is uh, always a possibility, so. You gotta be careful. See how it suddenly took off, right? Everything was hunky-dory, and then suddenly it took off. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it took off, baby. There you have it. That's the reaction right there. And it's a little bit hairier. Now, if I had had less water in there and more material, yeah, it could get very squirrely very fast. But uh, as you can see, it's not. It's already settled down here. Well, it took a little bit. And our beaker only filled up a tiny, tiny bit. But we certainly got some silver in there now. You can certainly see it. Yeah, look at that. That's silly metal. I'm gonna rinse the heck out of it. You saw all those rinse, same thing again. <laughs> yeah, just like yesterday. We heat that dude right up, and then we'll pour off that solution. And rinse, 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 rinse until we got her good. Yeah, folks, you can see I got a fairly large crucible. I got our silver back in there. I'm gonna try to wash some of that right on in here. Let's stop for a second, because I don't know how much I got. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, let me get what I can in here. See how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pour off a smidge of this. Yeah, there'll be a little silver in here. That's okay. Be okay. I'll just put it right back in here. <laughs> when I wash that down off the side of the container, of the beaker, I should say. Okay, hey. I'll get a scotchy more in there without causing a catastrophe. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna melt it just like that. Yeah, I'm thinking we got uh, maybe about two thirds in there. But anyway, we'll see what this yields and then we'll, we'll go from there. That's right, I'm gonna wash the silver back in here. I had to rinse this down here a little bit.
a bit of silver still left in my crucible. But I did manage to actually repour it. I quit sweating all the little beads, you know, and I just got the molten puddle and then whoosh, you know, and it was much easier than sweating every little drop that I can get next time. <laughs> so I, I think it worked out much, much better. It's still got a big dip in it, hard to tell, but uh, it's cooled off enough now where I can shake it out of there. So let's get that thing on out of there. There she goes. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. The light here so I can see it too. Yeah, it's got a little bit of funcation there for sure. Yeah, a lot, a lot better last time though. Thick little mugger. Anyway, yeah, I put in the uh, remaining silver too. There's a tiny, tiny bit still in here. Not much though, just like a little wash, right? Maybe a quarter of a gram or something. But I uh, got it all in here. That dude's heavy now. <laughs> So, yeah, rinse it all in there. This is a, should be a, well over an ounce. Maybe the two ounce, no, not two ounces. Did I say, anyway, over an ounce. It's gotta be over an ounce. It's got to be over an ounce. You can see that, you can see it. Oh yeah, look at that. 34.2. Mm hmm Nice big chunker. Yeah, pretty good looking this time. I wasn't sweating all those little beads. <laughs> Knucklehead. Anyway, yeah, one by one. One by one, baby. Let me uh, try a piece baby on this thing. Hopefully I can get it to, to not knucklehead. Oh, let me do it this way here, because I seem to be better with my right hand pounding. Kind of ambidextrous, so you never know until you try <laughs> which hand works the best. Fairly solid piece, baby. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I know what it says though. Oh, okay. Same thing. Let's try the prospector trip part here. See what happens. And we dinked it on the last hit. Well, that came out pretty good. You guys can see it. Yeah, one knucklehead a day at a time. <laughs> uh, peace, babe. Love you, man. <laughs>